Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Rahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Dear students and viewers Today's lesson is about the future perfect tense A future perfect tense, it is an action, this action, it will already be finished at some time in the future. It will not be done in the future, it will not be ongoing in the future, but it will already have been finished by a particular time in the future. So we are talking about an action that will be complete at a particular time in the future. We don't know the exact time, but we are having an anticipation that this action will be finished by a specific time in the future. This is the future perfect tense. The lesson first is in form of a conversation. It's a dialogue between a client and a technician. A client is a customer, is somebody who is looking for a kind of service. And the phone technician or the technician in this matter, a technician is a person who fixes or a person who repairs electronics. Excuse me, my phone has some issues. Can you fix it? Excuse me, my phone has some issues. Can you fix it? I'll have to take a look at it to identify the problem first. I'll have to take a look at it to identify the problem first. Okay, will you have finished fixing it by evening? Will you have finished fixing it by evening? No, I don't think I'll have finished by evening. No, I don't think I'll have finished by evening. Come back tomorrow morning, I'll have fixed it by then. Come back tomorrow morning, I'll have fixed it by then. So as we have said earlier, it is a conversation between a client and a technician. So the client says, excuse me, he or she goes to the shop, the technician shop, and they say, excuse me, my phone has some issue. I am having some problem with my phone. My phone is not functioning properly. My phone is not working well. My phone is not functioning properly. Oh, can you fix it? Can you be able to repair the phone? Can you be able to work on it? Can you fix it? The technician says, I'll have to take a look at it. You have to give me the phone so that I can look at the phone to identify so that I can know the problem first, so that I can know what is the problem or what is the issue with your phone before I tell you if I can fix it or I cannot fix it. Okay, the client says, it's okay, here is the phone, take a look. Will you have finished fixing it by evening? Will you have finished? Will this work be done by a particular time in the evening? By evening, will you have finished working on the phone? Will you have finished fixing it by evening? So the client is asking the technician. The technician says, no, I, I will not have finished. Because maybe the technician is busy, he has a lot of work, there are many phones, there are many clients who are expecting to come and collect their phones by a particular time. So as an honest technician, he says, I cannot, or blatantly he says, I will not have finished by that time. So, so the technician says, no, I don't think I have finished by evening. I don't think this work will have been done by evening. It is not possible. Looking at my schedule, looking at the work that I have, I don't think I'll have finished by evening. But I can guarantee you, come back tomorrow morning. If you come back tomorrow morning, 
I'll have fixed it by then. Your phone will be ready by tomorrow morning. So if you come tomorrow morning, I'll have fixed the phone by then. But by evening, I will not have finished by evening. It's not possible. But come back tomorrow morning. When you come back tomorrow morning, your phone will be ready. I'll have fixed it by then. By then it will be ready. But by evening, I can't promise you I will have finished by that time. So, the future perfect tense is an action that will be finished or completed at a particular time in the future. The formula is the subject plus will plus have plus the verb. The verb will be past participle, the that form of the verb, which we have the present, the past, and the participle. You are going to use the that form of the verb, the past participle, plus the object. For example, positive, I will have finished by evening. I will have finished by evening. I is the subject. The verb to be will have finished by evening. I will have finished by evening. So, I will have the verb. The verb is past participle. That's why it has ed. It is a regular verb. By evening is the object. Negative, I will not have finished by evening. I will not have finished by evening. So the negation, not, is going to come between will and have. I will not have finished by evening. The work will not be done by a particular time in the evening, in the future. Question form, question form, will I have finished by evening? Will I have finished by evening? So, we are going to start with the verb to be will, and then the subject I, then have, to show the perfect, and finished participle by evening. So, all of them, the three of them, the positive, the negative, and the question, the verb is going to be past participle. I will have finished by evening. I will not have finished by evening. Will I have finished by evening? And this is where we come to the end of the lesson for today. The lesson was about future perfect tense, an action that will be done or will be completed at a particular time in the future. And it was in form of a conversation, then the explanation in grammar form. And until next time, wahada wa bilahi tawfiq. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you.